Okay, what we want to do today is talk about fishing rods. How it's winter time, cold outside, 13 degrees, and how our fishing rods a lot of times don't operate the way they need to. It's because the OEM puts the wrong kind of grease in the rods or they're just lacking of the right kind of grease, don't have any grease, etc. What we're going to do here is show you that the Regal grease uh, is 97 below zero, 97 below zero for this Regal grease. And um, I'm telling you, you put this stuff in there and she's going to act like brand new all year round. It's good for 97 below zero, like I said, and also 497 degrees above zero. So it's all season, all season. The other thing we want to show you that Regal has also got the uh, thin lubricant grease that we use on just about everything else. Now this is good, also good for saltwater fish fishing tools. So what we want to do is we'll end up putting all the grease. We'll put grease on these little gears in here, and we'll put grease on on these. We'll put grease grease on uh, all this. Anything to keep it slick and moving properly. In here, in these little um, plastic uh, washers, we'll put the thin oil. We'll let thin oil run down through here. We'll let our regal grease or oil run down through this shaft and keep it lubricated. We'll also take, and if you, every, every summer, we always changing lines because this all oh, our reels have been setting all winter long and the lines get dried out and we want to do something about it because what well, the only thing we can do about it is change out the lines and that gets pretty expensive so what we'll do is we'll take our regal grease or oil and we will dope it back and forth back and forth and this is a penetrating oil that will soak all the way through every bit of line that's on there and that will keep it all lubricated and uh, flexible so it will not dry out and snap when you've got that big one on the line all right now let's get started okay so we want to start putting this thing back together so what we've got here we got this great this um, gear here we want to make sure we take all of this grease and put this, squeeze this grease right along this gear sprocket, like so, and get it inside where it needs to go. So we'll take it and rub it in with our fingers, just like so. Get it nice and greasy. Also, right in here is where it's going to spin. So we'll put a little bit inside here, just like so, and we're going to put this right down inside here that's going to spin around move it around a couple times nice and lubricated okay the next one is we're going to put this down in here and this is what makes it spin so we'll make sure we get some grease on it you'd never use any other kind of grease because anything else in the winter time is going to gum up on you and be tough to move around so here's what we do, we put this low temperature stuff on it. Can't get this anywhere guys, can't get it anywhere. I'm going to put some more in here so that later on it'll be right on the inside. I put it pretty thick inside there. You'd never do that with anything else. So we'll take that and we'll set that down in here. Now that's down in there. Now we got the, as you can see that will spin now. And we want to go ahead and put some of that worm gear that you saw. We'll put it in there, spin that around, looking good, put a little more. All right, looking good. Now, got all that greased up in there. Now, we got this traveling bar that goes in here. And this traveling bar goes right up here like this. We've got to get this, I'm gonna get this back down to the lower part where it's down at the bottom. And we'll take this and we're gonna put some grease inside this traveling bar. Just like that. Fill it full. We'll set that down in here. Now we've got the, that inside the traveling bar. Now we got, we sanded this because it was pretty bad looking. We're gonna put a little grease on it. Don't take a whole lot on that. We'll rub it all up and down. I'll keep that, this grease will keep this from um, 
Oh, you know, getting brown looking and things like that, getting that, keeping the rust off it, keeping the mildew off of it and things like that. So it's uh, designed that way. We'll take this and we'll put it inside here, lined up with a hole, and we take our little screwdriver here, tighten that down in there, so can get that to line up. Okay, now we move that. This should move up and down. We need to get that in the up position. So, there she goes. They go up. Get that all up in a far up position. I'm going to put a little more grease in here. Right down there on top of this. top of that bottom gear down there put some a little bit on top of this like so I believe that's it on the inside so we're ready to put the cover on it so we'll put the cover on all right now let's put this puppy back together put a little bit of Grease on this. Right on the top of it there. Just goes down. Like so. Back and forth. And there's a little indentation right there. So I'm going to put just a little bit more grease right there on the inside of that. Fill that little hole up like that. Okay, now, before I put this, this back, I'm going to take the light grease or oil. I'm going to put it on this so that it will go down inside that shaft. Even though I put the heavy stuff on there, I'm putting a little bit of light oil on that shaft. I put some on any metal, on your springs, and things like that, and I keep all that from rusting. You don't have to worry about it. Just a drop here and a drop there. Now, we're safe to go, good to go for any kind of bad weather or anything else. Now we'll slip this on. There you go, there that is. And we slip the nut on. <clears throat> like so. Give it a little bit of tweak here. Okay, so that's done. All right, now we can put the keeper on it. Goes there like that. Oh yeah. That's all in there ready to go. This goes there. There again, we'll put a little Grease on this. Get it all rubbed around in there. Like so. I told you to put my penetrating oil on these little fiberglass washers. Make sure they get in there. And we'll set this on there like this. There you go. And we'll put another, a couple more drops down in here like this. And this goes in here. Like so. Put this together. Okay, she's back together. I'm right handed, so I'm going to put this in here like this. This goes there like that. And this goes in. I 
I have already soaked my string, so it's ready to go. So, she's ready to go, and this baby will spin and run like a new one, okay? Now, we go with that one. That's good, that, this is ready for um, salt water, and it's ready for fresh water. It won't matter on this one. We've got the grease, we've got the oil. It's all detectable under way, way, way low and we'll ever be around here or anywhere else really on this continent. So we know she's gonna work out just fine and that oil is gonna keep that uh, string lubricated and ready to go. I'm trying to hurry here, so on these here, these are simple. Take these apart and uh, there again. Take these apart like this. Now you've got your worm gear and everything just invisible. You don't even have to take a whole lot of things apart. Or you can take this apart if you want to and take all this out and grease the inside of it. It'll be just fine. I'm telling you, it'll be good stuff. Just take it all apart, grease it all up. Take your grease, put it along here. Grease all your sprockets. Down inside there, squirt it. Load her up, okay? This way we know nothing's gonna rust in there and it's all gonna smooth just fine. I'm gonna take my thin oil and I'm gonna put a couple of drops down in here where she moves. So I'm on my spring, my metal so it won't rust. Clips in here, right in here, right in here where she moves. Like I said, if we take this apart, all that would be that much better. We're running out of time. On your string, take your string and soak this down just like this. Soak it down. And that oil will go all the way through that whole pile of string in there. Keep it from knotting up. You'll be able to get it out when you want it. It's gonna keep you from buying more string every year because it's gonna be, it's gonna hold its strength. It's gonna be exactly what you want, okay? Around here. Rip all this down. And we're ready to go back again. We'll set that back down in there. like that. You want a real nice shine, you can also take this oil, oil all this up and keep it from rusting. If you're going to put it up, you'll keep this plastic from breaking, tearing up, things like that. You take a little cloth and it'll shine that stainless right back up to brand new. Of course, this is this has been a river pole, so it's a uh, that's what we do. We fish in the river, catfish. That's our liking around here. Anyway, you take that and scratch that all up. It'll make it look like brand new when you get done with it. Dry it off to your preference. Like I said, depend on if you're gonna let it sit all winter. If you don't ice fish, if you do, then just dry it off to your preference. and you're good to go. Okay, that's those kind of reels. We appreciate it today. Something else I'm gonna tell you is I brought a tackle box out because the other thing you can use this material on is all of your little spinners. You can wet these down and uh, keep these 
all moist. How many times you get these out and they're rotten and you gotta buy more and or they're stuck to your um, plastic. This will keep them friendly and reusable, okay? You can do that. You can also use your oils on all of your your worms. How many times you got your worms out and they're rotted or, or uh, sticking together and things like that? Just take your oil and just put some drops in it. Change them around. And this puts the oil back in those worms and keeps them lubricated. You know how oily they are when you first get them out of the package? Well, you keep them like this and eventually they're not oily anymore. Then they get sticky, then they get brittle and blah, blah, blah. So take your oil, rub it around, rub it around these, get it nice and all the way down in there like that. Now you've got a real nice slick bait again, nice and flexible when you get ready to use it, okay? There's your worms, do them the same way. Just get them, rub them all the way down. Save that money, don't let them, don't buy stuff every year, because this will last forever. Take care and you're, you're reactivating your worms and your bait. Rub them down. That'll penetrate. This stuff will penetrate, and it's so easy. You don't have to do each one by itself. Oh my goodness. You just rub it down like this, and it goes to all of them. And you got a great selection of well organized material. And you can do this on all of your material. I haven't got time to show you all of it, but it, it'll work on every one of them. Keep your spinners from rusting. Keep your worms lubricated. Look at that. Man, look at that. Fantastic. Now I'll bet you when you go to open these back up in the springtime, they will not be sticking together like they always do and you pull the tails off of them and pull them apart. Okay, ready for this box. Now what we'll do is just go through the whole tool box and do all of them, get them all ready to go. I can't wait till spring. Have a great day. All right, we got all the reels done. We got some stuff done here. Don't forget, fantastic. Summer and winter. Summer and winter. Don't forget about your other strings that you buy. They sit around and they will get brittle also. Even though they're oiled up from the factory, take and spread this oil on that string and be sure that it's ready for you when you need it. Take it and rub it around and it'll penetrate and it'll go right into every bit of that string. Keep it from uh, drying out. That way when you need it, you got it. Okay, the uh, other thing is all your little crappie jigs. Same thing as the others, take your oil, put a little oil on them. And it'll keep them from sticking together, keep them from going bad. How many times I've had stuff go bad? Little fellers like this. Man, I catch them. Nice fish of that little bluegill there. But if I don't keep them oiled, they will sit in there and bake and break or the tail pops off of it because it's stuck to the bottom. This way it will not stick to the bottom. In the heat, in the summertime, like I said, 500 below, uh, above zero. So that's gonna keep it from sticking to your boxes. Things like this little bumblebee. It's all plastic, its wings are real brittle or real, you know, small. So to keep them from being brittle, put a little oil on them, keep it oiled up. 
Now keep it from being brittle. These things are expensive and they catch fish. So, that's about all I can tell you for today. Use this, the uh, sporting good lubricant. Sporting good lubricant is what it's called. It's good for fresh water and salt water. Don't forget about the salt water. I'm telling you, I've got this down at, along the ocean and the guys are just tearing it up. They love it. They love it because it keeps their uh, salt from drying out their lines and their uh, equipment. Well, it keeps ruining that daggone equipment. Then you got your uh, sporting good grease from uh, Regal. And that grease, good for salt water and fresh water. Uh, 97 below zero, 500 degrees above. So get some. You'll love it. You'll use it all the time on all your stuff. You guys have a great day. We'll see you fishing.